Good morning everyone. I'm in my hostel room in Jonty, Paris at the moment. Um, getting ready to head for uh, Toulouse Matabio station, which is around five hours away. I've enjoyed myself for four days in Paris and now I'm ready to play some piano. Alright, so today was first day, um, we just arrived, uh, we had an amazing welcome by Paul. I can't believe we're actually staying in a proper castle in the south of France for a whole week. I'm very excited to get started tomorrow. The lessons start at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but we get time to practice beforehand. We've had a, a mini concert and people seem really good and so I'm really looking forward to this week. It's probably going to be a bit daunting and slightly intimidating, but it's also going to be really fun. So this is the main concert room here. Um, all the advanced uh, master classes will be held here and we get a chance to um, play on this piano as well because it's really nice. Let's have a look. So this is day two. I woke up with like a quite a, a high fever, so I was like pretty much out of it for the whole day. The hot weather here really didn't help, but luckily um, I've managed to get some rest, so I'm feeling a lot better now. I had um, a lesson with James Krilling today. Um, I played um, Homage à Remote. I thought it went pretty well, considering that I was like still pretty high on a fever. Um, but tomorrow I'm playing for Paul Roberts and I'll be doing Reflet Don Lo from Debussy's Image Book 1 as well. And that should be really exciting because um, he is, after all, the expert of um, Debussy's piano music.
day four of Chateau d'Aix and as you can see I am really hot um, it's honestly it's been such an amazing I've had such an amazing time already um, I've had lessons with um, Paul twice now and it's been really really helpful and he seems to like the way I play Debussy as well um, I feel very privileged to be able to play Debussy for you know for someone who's actually written books about Debussy so basically what we have to do is we um, it's kind of like a master class. We play in front of other students and he gives lessons in front of um, an audience as well. So I played in front of an audience while he uh, gives me lessons and you know uh, I watch while he gives lessons to other students as well. And honestly everyone here is amazing. Um, but the lessons, they are really charged with energy. I know it's, it's ridiculous that you know we're here at a castle in the south of France and it's like 39 degrees and we sit indoors for like four hours a day just listening to piano playing and him talking but honestly I, I feel like it's such a great environment it's such um, selfless music making everyone's really enjoying it um, and I've had a great time and also at night we get to you know go to the bar and drink it's, it's all good you know wine is cheap and everything um, I've made such good friends and everyone, I think everyone's really settled in now, so we're all having a really good time. Merci à vous. I'm not quite getting yet is the sense of fantasy he, with a fantastical lightness is what he writes. Fantastical, sort of not quite of this world. Uh, also, humorous, I think, is contained in that word. And we don't exactly laugh, but there's this sort of sense of something is really not right. You know, this is all pretty weird. It, it, it's almost like carnival. It's carnivalesque. Everything's upside down. A little faster, but I think you're faster already. I think that's yeah. much better. Today is day five. This morning I had to play a class. Um, it wasn't great, but I still got some good advice from Paul, so that was very decent. Um, today I saw um, an amazing performance by Kat of um, Debussy's Lille Joyeuse. And when someone plays well, and you know, there, there, there's a vibe going on, and um, I think that's quite magical. It's like everyone gets enthusiastic suddenly because everyone's so passionate and so in the moment. You know, not just um, not just the pl uh, the player, but and Paul, but also the audience itself as well. We feel like you know we're we're part of the moment of you know making the music and making it sound better. You know.
It's been more than a month since Chateau d'Aix, and I've long since returned to the world where I stare at my phone screen for an average of two hours a day, where I'm unable to jump into the pool under the hot sun every day, and can no longer enjoy conversations on music over wine and Negronis on a daily basis. It's more than made me cherish the week I've had at Chateau d'Aix. That week has become a surreal dream. I've learned so much about music and the art of piano performance, but I think more importantly, it's shown me how music can create such unique experiences among people. And I think sometimes that's all we live for. People at the Chateau come from all walks of life and all over the world, but I know that through music we are all connected. Piano course has really inspired me to pursue what I've always dreamed of. At the moment, I'm practicing hard in preparation for conservatoire auditions, in the hopes that I will fill my life with such experiences. But for me, Chateau Dix will always be a very memorable experience indeed.